I think we all have gone through some bad breakups in our life, and to get over it, you have to do something. You can't just sit around and be sad about it. You got to be proactive and go out and have a man intervention, a woman intervention, whatever you want to have, but you got to do something about it to get over it. What's your number one relationship advice then for your friends? Um, be honest. Like no matter what, even if honesty is gonna like hurt, even if it's gonna be like the worst thing, you need it because that's just that's the main thing in relationships: honesty. Have you ever had to be honest with someone once when you didn't want to be? Have ever what? Been Have you ever had to be brutally honest with a friend when you didn't want to be? Yeah, definitely. I mean, sometimes that's that's what you need to do. And I think when you're good friends or family, that's where who you can be brutally honest with because no one else is going to do it to them. So sometimes being that mean person is what they're going to thank you for a month later when they're over your mean rant or whatever you did. Get your ass out of bed. <laughs> have you ever had to step in for a friend when they were going through a bad breakup? I think all of us have. At, uh, yeah, we're at that age where we all go through different relationships and uh, yeah, actually it's weird, it always happens at the same time. All the girls break up at the same time and all the guys, so do you notice that too? Yeah. So I think that uh, yeah, we can kind of lean on each other and uh, have a bunch of junk food and sit on the couch and watch rom-coms. And what do you think is the secret? What is your guilty pleasure when you're going through something? My guilty pleasure is homemade chocolate chip cookies <laughs> and sitting on the couch with my dog and watching dumb movies. You can't escape heartbreak. If you're human, your heart's going to get broken. That's just part of the deal. And what do you think is the secret to, to getting over heartbreak? I don't think the secret is what my character comes up with. I hope no one follows that formula. Um, I think the secret is time. Time heals everything. And, and maybe um, skydiving and adventure and a couple other women. And your character is definitely an adventure. Would you say you have that in common with him? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, uh, I've actually skydived three times. Haven't bungee jumped yet. Um, learning how to scuba dive right now. Um, yeah. I haven't ridden a bull yet. I got to play a really cool character where I was the, uh, the a-hole, the antagonist. And so uh, it was fun because I got to pick on everybody. So usually I'm a really nice guy, but on set I got to be the jerk, and uh, it was fun to give everyone a hard time. Because a lot of people on this set I actually knew before shooting the movie. So you said you were the antagonist. Are you ever antagonistic in real life? Uh, no, I'm not antagonist at all, no. I'm, I'm the peacemaker. I'm the peacemaker. Okay, so man intervention is all about stepping in and helping your friends. Have your friends ever had to step in and have a man intervention for you? No, and I'll tell you why. Because I've been uh, single my whole life, and then I've had a girlfriend for 10 years. So it was like, I've never had that like on and off breakup thing. But I've given plenty of interventions to my friends. Especially in L.A. Like, guys in L.A. are so immature, and they just, they want to like date young girls or do whatever, and then they always have these problems. So, you know, I'm here for them. And what do you think is the secret to dating in Los Angeles, since it's such a crazy city? Date someone that has not been here very long. That's still like from the farm back in Nebraska, or, you know, something like that. Uh, I play a TSA agent. I'm kind of a tough woman who runs the airport. I'm the supervisor. And uh, one of the guys, one of, you know, the blonde, Van Winkle, comes in and I, uh, I don't know if I should give it away. It's kind of funny, but I notice something very attractive about him as I am, uh, as he's going through the x-ray. So I demand to do a search and I take him into the private room for a search, and things happen. And it's supposed to be funny, and we'll see, because I haven't seen it. Well, I'm excited. So a little bit of a spicy scene for you. Oh, yes. And it was unexpected. I had no idea what to expect when I got on set. And yeah, it's, it was kind of crazy. So my character is basically um, a rebound girl who seduces him, takes control. Um, and then walks out the next morning, and he's not used to that because he's a he's a commitment man. So um, it was it's kind of a first for him to have a girl, you know, one night stand and then leave. <laughs> As uh, Nick Rowe, he was Spencer. I was uh, his younger version. I was young Spencer. So you know, before he gets all bad, you know, with his friend, um, I basically I'm I'm a sweet kid. I I'd rather stay read a book than play outside with my friends, and I'd rather watch a movie and eat popcorn with my mom than hang out with my friends basically yeah I was just a sweet kid you know my character uh, sleeps with the lead guy in the film and you'll see me leaving their house in the morning after kind of a crazy night that they've had so I get to be one of the victims <laughs>
which, I mean, is fun, right? Her role was much more exciting than mine. <laughs> she got to... Uh, be naked. Be naked on camera. Yeah. Living the dream. <laughs> so what was it like being body painted on camera? Um, I don't know. It took a while, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Wait, we did it. I mean... Do they show, I don't think they show that in the film, but I don't oh, know. Oh, they know. hope they better. You never know. You never know. I'd say the shooting. It was hilarious. I mean, between Nick, Rue, Travis Van Winkle, Jillian Murray, I mean, those guys are amazing. And basically, it was just a bundle of laughs. I mean, the hardest thing was trying to keep a straight face. And if you listen, when we were in editing, you just hear me laughing over every take. So I was like the biggest problem in the whole movie, trying to like edit me out, you know? Have you ever had to stage a man intervention yourself? No, but I believe a man intervention has been staged on me. You know, you get your heart broken and sometimes you lose your way and you need someone to come up and sort of set you straight. And that's what friends are for.